Thanks, Ron and Ann. Joining me is Dennis Peacock, a man who has carried a concern for social justice for over 35 years. Graduating from Berkeley in political science and coming to Christ in 1968, Dennis has gained international respect as a strategist due to his unique way of applying biblical solutions to many challenging economic issues facing families, churches, business, and government. Dennis, welcome. It's good to be here with you, Robert. Dennis, it has become quite obvious that we cannot build upon this current economic system. And I have read in numerous places that economists today are looking for someone who will lead the way in building a whole new infrastructure, a whole new system. And my question is this, from a biblical perspective, in your opinion, what do you believe this new system should look like? Well, that's a great question and also one that's fairly complex because economics is a fairly complex subject. Basically, Robert, economics is about what we call monetary policy, which has to do with the nature of money and currency, uh, fiscal policy, which has to do with government spending and taxation policy, and then really the third arm of all that is the educational uh, element, which means uh, how do we educate culture uh, through school systems, families, church, etc., to understand the basic principles of economics. Uh, all of us are floating on a ship. Unfortunately, the ship we're floating on right now looks a little like the Titanic. And the reason it looks like the Titanic is because in the 1930s, when this current economic global system was basically being laid, the foundation by a, an economist named John Maynard Keynes, uh, it was laid without the advice or input of Christians or biblical economists who were injecting biblical truth into the situation. And the net result of that today is, number one, on monetary policy, we have money that has nothing behind it. It's what we call free floating currency, which means there's no substance, there's no gold, there's no backing. And that's one of the crises that we're in now, is that there's no limits, therefore there's no real meaning to the currency. And relative to fiscal policy, most people have no idea what civil government, from a biblical point of view, is supposed to actually be spending money on. And the new economy is going to be based on a clear understanding from a biblical point of view of the limitations and responsibilities of civil government, therefore the taxation policy undergirding it. And lastly, the church is going to have to become a very, very active sphere of education. We have most Christians have no idea about biblical principles of economics, and yet economics is what makes the world go round in a natural sense, which all of us have seen by this crisis. Now, Dennis, as followers of Christ, is there anything we can do today to begin to lead the way? Yeah, the most important thing that we can do right now, Robert, is really pray. Uh, I've run around the world looking for what I call the players. Who are the Christian economists, the bankers, the business uh, men and women, that see the crisis and are willing to step up to the plate and become part of the council, so to speak, that is going to be creating and advising what this new economy is going to look like. And I want to say to, to the viewers, in my opinion, and I'm not saying thus saith the Lord, but as a relatively experienced thinker in these realms, economically speaking, I think we have probably three years, four at the most. I think the current system is going to be repaired with, uh, with uh, scotch tape and uh, glue. Uh, but I think we're going to hit a period maybe within three, four, five years where the current system absolutely breaks down. Mm -hmm. And the greatest prayer that we need right now is that the ones that God wants to be involved in formulating this new economy uh, find one another and that we build a transition period of safety between the collapse of the old and the birth mm -hmm. of the new. That is going to be a very mm -hmm. challenging situation. Mm -hmm. Dennis, thank you so much for your insight and your encouragement. Greatly appreciate it.